Don't bust your teeth in my cock ring. <laughs> seems like I would be scared to snap that on, man. I know. Good God. <clears throat> oh, hey. Welcome Hello. to the Corey Brennan Show. Hello. I'm Corey Brennan. Sitting next to me is JB. Hello. Sitting over there is Ryan. This is. Making all things happen on the screen. Hello, like Corey Brennan. Uh, yes, yes. Welcome to another episode of the Corey Brennan Show, episode number 43. Mm-hmm. 44. No, 43. Um, how you doing over there? A little parch, but I'm good. Glad to have you back. You're gone I'm last to week. Be back, man. Had a good time with Christopher Scriva. Yeah, man. Where'd you go, Virginia? Yeah, Virginia Beach. How was it? Beautiful down there. So fucking expensive. Yeah. So it's ridiculous. Me and my girl blew through like thousand dollars just for in between three or four. Really. Years. And we needed that money. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, Patreon, uh, <laughs> so yeah, help us out. Something. Because <laughs> we're fucked. We actually do have a thing. Now. I think I talked about last week where we'll, like, we'll put a link in the um, description of everything. Mm-hmm. But if people want to just donate to the show just because they appreciate the show, mm-hmm. they can do their, do like a dollar a month or five dollars a month or whatever. There you go, man. Um, be dope. A dollar a month ain't shit, man. Yeah, a dollar. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're worth a dollar Come a on, month. Man. That's literally 25 cents a week. That's nothing. 25 that's nothing. cents a week. Come on, man. Yeah. Make it happen. Anyways, um, that's good. Glad you had fun. Yeah, man. It was awesome. Um, I haven't been on vacation in years. <laughs> and you are not going anytime And I'm not going to be on one anytime soon. Thanks to that fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and we are, I don't want to talk about my suicide dog again. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ryan, how uh-huh. you doing over there? We're making it a little sick this week. Oh. oh yeah, what's wrong? Oh, you have a sour stomach? Yep. Got the bubble sour, guts. Sour, oh. Sour. And push. you don't have any fat to lose either. Like, like if me and JB <laughs> get a fucking stomach infection, we're like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm going to lose like 15 pounds. It's going to be yeah. awesome. Everything's going to fit right. That it's actually like, brings me to the point that I had the colon thing I was going to talk to you about. <laughs> bro, don't worry about it. All right. talk about I mean, it, you want to talk about it now? Well, I mean, the, 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 the IDF, I was, I was scrolling through uh, Facebook. And uh, you know there's no infomercial you see like as you're scrolling through. And this thing called it's like the colon, colon remedy. Mm-hmm. So I think one of the fucking things you put in all your information in all your all the things you got to put in there all your age and your height and your weight and all that good stuff, and then you put you, the information comes up. Hey, this plan work for you. You buy sixty seven dollars, well, like sixty seven dollars for a little jar of the fucking colon cleanse. Sixty seven, six for for one bottle, like sixty seven dollars. Mm-hmm. Fucking expensive as shit. But apparently, the, the 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 study shows that you can lose up to ten pounds within a like. A week or two of just shit. Of just straight. You got ten shit. pounds of shit to sit in your intestines. I think I got I got way more than ten pounds of shit <laughs> inside. Bro, me. You, ever, you ever take one where it's just like you f- you literally feel like you're completely cleaned out, <laughs> like you feel like everything is just out, <laughs> like we're like like stre- like part of the stresses of your day leave. <laughs> you know what like- I mean? <laughs> Like, oh, that was stressing me out. Uh, Gone. How am I going to pay this? <laughs> Gone. <laughs> dude, I had one of those today after, like, so much Chipotle. It was yeah, amazing. I was going to say Chipotle, like, too. Oh, dude, That's Chipotle crazy. will clean you right out, dude. <laughs> Chipotle is the edible Drano. Yeah. yeah. And you just, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. gone. Extra yeah. corn. Oh, my God. How you yeah. do the extra corn? You got to go extra corn. I do extra cheese, and I'm lactose really? intolerant, so I, I, I kind of, I, I self-inflict that, you know, that was terrible, it's, but it's delicious. I, I got to say, I mean, we're not paid by Chipotle here. No, that man. new pollo asado. Oh my gosh. The new man. chicken. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? It's delicious, man. That's that's my go to every time I go Pollo up, Asado. That's my shit. God damn, it's good. That shit's delicious, man. But yeah, it'll clean you out like a motherfucker. Almost definitely. Be it'd be like <laughs> remember in the infomercials where like after that like one wipe and it was like <laughs> ding ding <laughs> ding ding ding. That's the, like the inside of my intestines after I fucking <laughs> speaking of wipe. It, after those, man, like I, I I feel like I can go through a whole roll of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> with this shit I'm like, really? it's like, it's like it's like wiping a fucking marker like it's no. just like, it's oh, like, yeah. like, yep. like like what the fuck is going <laughs> yeah. on yeah. I'm just like my girlfriend says how the hell are we going through all this fucking toilet paper yeah. I'm, I'm like oh, and then sorry. after a roll of toilet paper you're just like whatever I give up and then an hour later you're like ah my asshole's <laughs> yeah. itchy <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> yeah. No so, I had literally The perfect shit today It was like Out One wipe See ya wow. 
Yeah. Shit, man. Yeah, it was amazing. What's in the blue moon? You don't, yeah, shit. it does not happen often. Not at all. You got to appreciate when it happens. I don't know, I, t- I took it. I said, you know what? It's going to be a good podcast. Well, it's going to be. It's, <laughs> it's going to be a good podcast. going to be a good podcast. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it's, shit. <laughs> no yeah. Problem, That's actually good. This is the first day I've like, felt like being funny. For some reason, I've just been in like, a funk lately. Like, uh, I yeah. sometimes wonder if, like, I have some of my father, like, his, me- like, he's, like, uh, really bad bipolar and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I sometimes wonder if I have some of that shit in me because there'll be times where, like, shit that doesn't normally bother me will bother me. Mm-hmm. Like, some, like, fucking girl, shit, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be like, fuck. Like, it's, like, really bothering me. Or, like, I'll have, like, all these, like, moments, like, self-doubt. Mm-hmm. But, like, where I don't normally have it. And sometimes I'm just, like, fucking, like, yeah. nothing can stop me. I'm like, huh. Like, not, like, severely. But I'm like, because, I mean, I saw what severe bipolar looks like. Oh, I yeah. definitely don't have that. I, we both see that, how, how, that, how that looks. And so, it's like, I definitely don't have that. But I was like, man, I wonder if there's, like, some. I would love to be able to talk to someone about it. But <laughs> apparently, only millionaires have mental issues. <laughs> Apparently. Anyone who makes less than $1 million doesn't have mental issues. Yeah, suck it up. Man. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, suck that shit up, man. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like I don't think you have any bipolar issues, but I know, I know you. I'm around you a lot. I don't think you have any bipolar. You're just, you're just a human being, and you, mm. you're starting to get older, Yeah, and your mind is starting to switch about how, like, how, what, what things are starting to concern you more. Mm-hmm. As you get older, when you're younger, you don't give a fuck about it. Who gives a fuck? Man, I don't give a shit. But as soon as you get older, it's that something switches in your head. You're like, I'm wasting time now. What the fuck are you doing now? You're wasting my fucking time. Bit like, bitch, yeah. like, that's, I feel well, like that's what When it is. I was younger, I used to really care about, like, like way too much care about girls' things. Good guy. Like, like, teenager cared so much. In her, like, early 20s, <laughs> like, even early 20s, I would act like I didn't, but I would care. I was so fucking sensitive when it mm-hmm. came to girls. And then I, like, trained myself out of that shit where I was just like, I had, like, white knuckle my way, like, nope, you're not going to feel like that. Yeah. And then, like, I, get, I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to feel like that again sometimes. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 you know what I love talking to therapists about? And there's this one uh, guy who has a podcast where he, like, talks to comedians. And he's a therapist himself. He's, like, a mental health professional. Yeah. And he, like, tries to, like, break down what's happening in comedians' mm-hmm. lives. And, like, I would love to. Like, I'm like, bro, we dope. have, like, a fucking four-hour podcast. You brought me on there, right? I would love to talk to someone about why I, I exclusively mm-hmm. will only... Talk or like choose a girl if I know without a shadow of a doubt that she's going to destroy me. <laughs> like, if there's no threat of her completely fucking up my life, I have no interest. You like, you like, you like a, a battle, you like a, you like a challenge, possibly. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's a challenge because I'm not even trying to tame them or anything like that. But it's just like, like I'll I'll talk to girls who are openly cheating on their boyfriends mm-hmm. and oh, like yeah. be like, let's <laughs> be together. Yeah, you know what I mean. Bitch, bitches ain't shit, man. I know. <laughs> I'm like, why, why? But then there'll be like a nice girl who's just like nice. She's just nice. You think she's nice? And she's okay looking. But no, but she's like a good person. You think so? And 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 she made, and she made I made just do, it babies. doesn't it doesn't interest me in the slightest. <laughs> Who knows, man? I mean, that's just how you. That's how you are. How you can configured, man. That's just what it is. That's how it is now. Yeah, but I would love to talk to him about why that is. It's not a healthy thing. No, it's, it's not. not a good thing. You won't talk to anybody. It's never going to change. I would <laughs> if someone was like, "Look, I'm a really good. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm really good. I'm subsidized by the government. It's uh, 15 bucks an hour. <laughs> I'd be like, all right, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do it. But this whole like what 225 dollars an hour yeah, horse shit. Ridiculous. That's dumb, dude. You can lick. My unwiped asshole for two hundred twenty five dollars. Like, I'm not Watch doing that. Sh- like, two hundred twenty five dollars for an hour. I mean, I mean, to to their credit, they do have. They spend a lot of time in school. It, it take a lot of things like to 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 get to that level. Mm-hmm. I understand. I get it. Yeah, but I'm not paying that. I mean, stick to the rich people. I'm not paying yeah. that. I'm yeah. not paying. I'm gonna keep choosing these ain't bitches. I'm good. These ain't shit bitches. This I'm, I'm gonna how... keep having suicidal <laughs> thoughts. I'm gonna keep on doing my thing. I'm not yeah. paying two hundred fifty dollars for fucking to sit down <laughs> yeah. for an hour. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just won't buy guns or have <laughs> exactly. shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep eating ice cream and I'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might get a deal, a, a, a six hundred pound life deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, TLC yeah, yeah. Hopefully one yeah. fucking day. It's you go to help therapy. You go to a therapist. He's like, 
Twenty fifty bucks an hour. You're like, you know, what? I'm gonna die of diabetes, and your fault. <laughs> this is on you, man. It's on you. This is on you. <laughs> Just <laughs> eating, eating sesame chicken in front of him. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know, man. I would love to. Man, you know what I need to do? I need to date a fucking therapist. I need yeah. to find a therapist so we can date. That'd be dope. Like I used to date this uh, massage therapist. She give me massages all the time. Was f- <sighs> she's actually a trigger point therapist? Oh, really? And I know all this shit now. Like. If you like, you ever had that neck pain where like it's like down the back of your neck and then kind of goes in your shoulder? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So say it's on like your right side. Mm-hmm. There's a a mark like kind of like above your nipple area, like on your chest, where if you rub, you'll find it. It hurts like a motherfucker, mm-hmm. and you dig in there, and it will release that muscle. It's crazy. Oh. It's like magic. Well, your body has a lot of fucking tendons and and all kinds of shit. That that, that a lot of crazy things that we don't know about our body. Like if you got to pee. And, and like you're like you're not gonna get to a toilet mm-hmm. soon. And you really gotta fucking pee. Piss in a cup. Well, yeah. <laughs> but if you don't have a cup, <laughs> <don't have> <laughs> if you're cupless, uh-huh. dig your thumb into like in between your thumb and forefinger, like uh-huh. in that meaty area, yeah. in that web. Dig it in there, and it will take away that sensation to pee. It fucking works. <laughs> when this bitch is telling me this, I was like, "You're so full of shit." Like, oh my god, get out of here! She's like, rub. She used to rub parts of my foot, and I'd instantly get a boner. It's oh, fucking god. wild, <laughs> bro. She, her shit was fucking magic. I don't know Jeez. how she did it. Yeah, yeah. It was How'd wild. you fuck that one up? Um, I think I started talking to a friend. You rubbed in the wrong spot. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, that was just like we weren't like we were dating, but it was just like we were young, and it was just like yeah. That's how yeah. Um. Yeah, well, this is a fun trip down memory lane. Yeah, man, this is awesome. Um, what's happening in the world today? It's what everyone wants to hear about. A lot anyways, of crazy shit. Man. All the people are gonna click on this video. They're like, we need to listen to ten minutes of their fucking lives. Goodness yeah. gracious, <laughs> get <Are> over it. <laughs> all right, Alex Jones is in the news. Alex Jones, man, turn the frogs gay. Um, <laughs> he's crazy as shit. Man. Yes, he got sued for defamation and libel, which is horseshit. Actually, let's start this off like this. Uh, Ryan, can you please pull up the definition of defamation? The definition of defamation. That's pretty dope. Legal definition or that should, Yeah, the legal definition of defamation, like a, which should be, it should be like a Nas album. I was going to say, name. yeah, that sounds like a Wu-Tang the lyric. The definition of defamation. <laughs> like a Wu-Tang lyric. <laughs> yeah. Legal definition. Nice. See, what is the difference? Or here, dude, what's the difference between libel and defamation? That's important. The f- the first little arrow thingy. Here we go. Let's check it out. Defamation is a generic term. You- oh. All right, cool. Oh, you can just click in there. That's fine. <laughs> is that what you wanted? <laughs> no, I, but- I mean, I was reading it, and now we have to find where the that part was. was. I mean, perfectly fine. Google is literally so efficient. You don't even have to click on it. It will just <laughs> take you right to where it fucking is. Lucky, it. he's killing it again, man. This okay. may happen. At, this gonna he's going to do everything he can to wreck this. This is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. I promise. <laughs> At common law, libel and slander were analyzed under different sets of standards, with libel recognized as the more serious wrong. Mm-hmm. Illinois law evolved, however, and rejected this bifurcated... I know what that means. It means when you, it's when you furcate someone <laughs> twice. Bifurcated approach in favor of a single set of rules and slander... <laughs> For slander and libel. Libel and slander are now treated alike, and the same rules apply to a defamatory statement, regardless of whether the statement is written or oral. Well, that didn't help us at all. a lot of words. Okay. A lot of words. (laughs) Here are five types of statements that are considered defamatory, per se. Imputing that a person committed a crime. Imputing that a person is infected with a loathsome communicable disease. Mm. And wow, interesting. So if you say like someone has herpes and they don't, oh shit, because it. it's wrong. You know it's wrong, and it caused that person loss. Car- Cardi B just went through that actually. Okay, well, I bet she <laughs> has it. I mean, I heard. I don't know. <laughs> Imputing that a person is unable or lacks the integrity to perform one's employment duties. Okay. Now, why would that be? Because it's wrong. You know it's wrong, mm-hmm. and the person suffered loss. Exactly. Imputing that a person. Imputing that a person lack ability or otherwise prejudices one in one's profession, and imputing that a person has engaged in adultery or fornication. Now, why would that be defamatory? Because it's wrong. You know it's wrong. It's like verifiably wrong, and the person suffered loss. 
Here is why Alex Jones getting sued is horseshit. He's getting sued because he was saying that, like, the... Um, Sandy you know, Hook. <laughs> say, yeah. It's a... It's a false flag. <laughs> it's a false flag. He's saying that Sandy Hook never happened. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's an opinion. Yeah. Okay. Sandy Hook didn't happen. That's a crazy opinion, but it's an opinion. I'm not, listen, I'm not supporting what he's saying. I'm just saying he shouldn't have got, <laughs> he shouldn't have got, like, I just want to say of, that. Of, of, of <laughs> yeah. I think Sandy Hook happened. Of course. Probably. Oh, it did. God. It happened. It happened. God, please. <laughs> he turns to fucking Alex Jones. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you know. Okay. He's saying, like, the parents were, um, the parents were complicit in, or, like, that they're lying mm-hmm. about it, right? Yeah. Like, that they're actors gotcha. or whatever. Okay. Is that wrong? Perhaps. <laughs> did he know it's wrong? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? You got to prove that he knew it was wrong. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did they suffer loss or injury from it? Uh, not that I know. You got to prove that you suffered a loss or injury. Did you lose your job? Did you lose money? Did you lose property? Did you get hurt? Did someone hurt you because they said that? Like, they're saying that he said that and people start making death threats. Okay, well, that's independent. Mm. That's independent of Alex Jones. Alex Jones can't control if someone makes a death threat on these people. Because of something he said. Yeah. So okay. You feel like you feel like this is this this what this defamation is kind of is, is kind of unruly and it's kind of it's going against his freedom of speech as as a media personality. You should be able to yeah like you, you should be able to say insane things and yeah. and the whole thing against that is people like when he got deplatformed is people saying well you don't want him convincing people and he's insane. Hey, we should know who can be convinced by that. Yeah, That's a very true. useful thing to know. Who is dumb enough to be convinced by that shit? Alex Jones didn't convince me of that, but I like listening to him. Is I just a- enjoy him. Yeah. See that? And he says a lot of true things. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of things where I looked up and I'm like, oh shit, he's right. For instance, human pig chimeras in China. Totally real. They make half pig, half human people in China. Huh? Look it up. <laughs> Look on, it up. Let's go. <laughs> Are you looking it up? Oh, you're serious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Ryan <laughs> Ryan <laughs> was placed here by the deep state. <laughs> and I'm gonna prove it by the end of this episode. <laughs> He's doing everything he can oh, to derail my my defending <laughs> of Alex Jones. That's hilarious, man. Half pig Oh, it's true. It's on Oh My God News Today. Oh, no, no, hey, no. Don't go there. Don't go, go there. Go down. <laughs> National <laughs> Geographic. Human pig hybrid creating lab. Oh, wow. There yeah. You go. Oh, just a little mom and pop <laughs> shop <laughs> called National Geographic. You ever heard of them? <laughs> mom and pop shop. Little, just a, yeah. It's one of these fringe sites called National <laughs> Geographic. <laughs> Founded by the onion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you got to say about that? You fucking globalist. Oh, God. He's liberal. Doesn't make anything he's saying true, but let's see. It's completely true. He says that announced today they first created the first successful animal hybrid. Look up. um, Here, you can go back. Look up what you looked up, but look up China. Look up Cap Pig Chimera. China. China. Uh First pig monkey. Chimera is created just in China. And like first big pig bear, Ben Pear Big. <laughs> Fucking South Park. Yeah. Alex Jones is crazy. He's insane. <laughs> okay. Pig monkey. So hey, my point is that he says a lot of true things and he also oh, said fuck. Patrice O'Neill, he said it best. What what? Oh no, sorry. When he said a lot of conspiracy people, it's hard to believe them because they'll say ten true things. It's like if someone who gave you great advice and then you watch them shove marbles up their ass. <laughs> hey man, thanks for that great. It's advice. like it's like where you're like, wow, that advice is great, but he just he, shits in his hand. But he just shoved marbles <laughs> up his ass. Like, how am I going to listen to this guy? <laughs> it's like that's what Alex Jones would do. He would he says a lot of true things and then he says something completely fucking insane, and uh-huh. it's like, how do I listen to the rest of this? <laughs> but if you take each thing for what it is, a lot of it's correct. That's what it is, man. I love him. <laughs> I do. He confessed to the I love him. Jones. He did a lot of things. He he was the first person to expose uh uh 
Uh, fuck. What's that place called where they all they all wear robes and fuck each other? Uh, Bohemian Grove. He was the first person. Look up Alex Jones, Bohemian Grove. <laughs> it's a real fucking place. Bohemian Grove is a real fucking place where all the world leaders and business leaders and stuff meet, and they. I think I saw something out there. Like that, and actually. they burn a human effigy in in front of an owl. And he was the first person to sneak in and videotape that shit. Oh, wow. And they all wear robes, and they, and they fuck each other, probably. <laughs> he just put that little spice in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably got a whole lot of sodomy. <laughs> like, there's pictures of, like, Richard Nixon talking to, like, Ronald Reagan. Like, like it's like a, it's a place where, like, they, it's like a kingmaker place. Yeah. Or at least it was. Now it's kind of, like, not as important. Because yeah. so many people know about it. But it used to be this secret place where all the business leaders and all the political leaders would come together and make shit happen. Mm. Alex Jones, Exposure, Bohemian Grove. Go ahead and click on that. Up. Uh, Which one? Uh, right there, the shorter video. Yep, the four minute one. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, uh, frankly, that's uh, that. Uh, I don't think that's something. I'm yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video. It's been on national TV. Well, I just respect Lately. you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You took don't we deserve to know? You, you took an. I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Yeah. Really? We're busy oh, fucking you, kids, I'm and you're going to mess you it up. You took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there, too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what, I know what the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual yeah. gentlemanly? <laughs> do you know how it's Look, to? that's a real. They burn a human effigy, like basically a, a like a straw man shaped like a human, in front of sir, an owl they, they, that's you, supposed to be I, Moloch, I, I don't, I don't the, the pagan god comment. Moloch. You, they you, burn you have, a human effigy, and then they all sing and they dance and robes and shit. All these fucking well. billionaires so and political people. Yeah. Fucking weird. Man. It's real. Damn business. Oh, I don't get real serious about that shit. Man. Listen, yeah, when listen. you get called out, they get you serious. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. Yeah, you, you ambush people on the streets. Who is this? And that's, it, that's I don't know. He's some political guy. I couldn't but remember who it is. That, it's that's fine in the description. But don't ask but like, to respect you for it. If you want to, you, you can do your free American. Listen, like we said, you, want. you could come in here and watch us fuck kids as long as you don't you talk about it. That's up to you. But don't okay. expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you sure, sure, we sacrificed sorry, kids to demons. We tried but to we didn't know you were going to tell everyone about it. You guys are fucked up. We've had spiders coming out here. Yeah. 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 Woo! 1,700-acre secluded Redwood Grove. Leaders from around the world, prime ministers, chancellors, presidents, governors, again, the heads of industry, banking, academia, the media, Hollywood, only a select few, a little over 2,000 people, travel there to engage in bizarre, ancient Canaanite, Luciferian, Babylon, mystery religion ceremonies. It and uh, I shit. successfully infiltrated through the Secret Service, uh, through the guards, through the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department. We were inside four hours. That's only one day out of the two weeks that they meet there for the admitted summer fire festival of the Bohemian Club. Time of revelation, which pursues here, has lost its power under these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, flames that keep thine empty. We shall read the sign, it's a bird, sets us free. You shall burn thee once again! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Which hither ye have fought from regions where I reign. Ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire. This is real shit. Wow. Great of all mortal wisdom. Power of Bohemia, we beseech thee. Grant us thy counsel. Or, or just just show the thumbnail ahead and see if they light it on fire. Yeah, it's whatever. It's the same shit. So, 
Yeah, they have it lit on that's fire now. Shit, man. That's some weird Imagine shit, walking man. on that shit in the woods. That's and by the way, shit. these aren't like Civil War reenactors. This is like Bill Gates and like Richard Nixon. Like if it was today, it would be like Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk and like all these fucking, fucking people. Dang, uh, uh, why uh, they AOC. And, why and, they, and, like why though? Like what? I get it, man. I can't I get you guys up echelon. Well, why? Why wouldn't you want to just be cool and chill and just <laughs> help the world out? You want to do this dumb weird shit? Like why do you want to do this? They obviously enjoy it. That's fucking weird. Or dog. maybe maybe their relationship is predicated on doing weird ritualistic shit. Maybe I don't know. Satanic sex shit. I don't know. Maybe with kids on maybe I don't know islands. <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Maybe they fly planes. I don't know. Uh, I, you know, maybe maybe that's like where it's all predicated. I don't know. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe if you're to Google Hillary Clinton sex magic, maybe things will pop up. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Just maybe if you did, I don't know. Not sure. <laughs> but it's like that's what I'm saying. Like <clears throat> I usually don't get into this shit, but it's like that that stuff is real, and mm -hmm. he would talk about it. And it's like he filmed this. Shit. He's the only person. They've been doing this shit for fucking ever. He's the only person to get video of that shit. Mm -hmm. And then it's like all all the fucking media moguls start crashing down on him at the same time. And it's like yeah, it's a little huh. weird. It's a little weird. Fucking hmm. Weird. <laughs> because weird. Richard Spencer is an actual racist and white supremacist, and he has a platform. But Alex Jones doesn't. So it's like, huh? You know? It's crazy how that goes. Though. It's like people who literally flew on the Lolita Express, like verified, were on that plane. It's like, are still making movies and doing shit yeah. in Congress and stuff. But Alex Jones, well, he can't be on YouTube. He's too dangerous. Actually, that, that that actually brings it like like when I was watching, used to watch videos of Alex Jones. I'm not I'm not a big Alex Jones like like watcher, but I remember he used to say he was he used to be so adamant about child like pedophilia. Yeah, like, you yes. sick sons of bitches. You sick son like he used to be so adamant about it. I'm like, damn man, like like he's really against that. He shit. never like he's named really he never named shit. Jeffrey Epstein, or he might have actually named Jeffrey Epstein yeah. at one point, but like. He would say all the time, like, they're having sex with kids. And then, ha! Huh! That's, that's weird. That's Epstein, weird. Oh. Epstein happens, and then and then he gets killed. And then, <laughs> hmm. That is weird. That is a little weird. Well, anyways, on the next thing, Pete Davidson and Kim Kerr dating. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how they get you. Yeah. A little bait and switch. Like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this bad man, he said that uh, Sandy Hook never happened. Okay, well, how about all the other shit he said? Yeah. That was like, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That honestly, the way you're saying it, it's kind of making sense now. Everything he's all the truthful things he would say. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, of course, the, the the fucking Sandy Hook shit. It kind of makes him yeah. seem like he's fucking crazy. Yeah. Remember when, like, if you said that there was like a secret Illuminati type group running the world? Mm -hmm. Remember, there was a time you said that you were fucking crazy. Yeah. And now it's like you'd be like, hey, you know, there's like a group of people who like run this shit. People are like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah. yeah. Like it's like a known. What thing. changed? Yeah, it's it's a no. Like people don't really fight that shit they used to, and it's like Alex Jones is definitely a part of that. I mean, his Infowars had millions and millions of subscribers, mm -hmm. so it's like, what? Okay, so these people who are like masters at using influence for the media, maybe they should remove the biggest influence against them in media, who would be Alex Jones. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just saying, like it's it's not like he was saying the n-word and and doing all this racist and weird shit i mean yeah. he literally said that like a, a terrorist attack that happened he didn't think it happened mm -hmm. and he said some wild shit and he was wrong and he admitted that he was wrong mm -hmm. but then he gets permanently deplatformed on all social media uh, uh, can you do, man? the leader of the proud boys is still allowed on some social media <laughs> like yeah, that's but, actually pretty weird but actually. alex jones nope it's pretty weird Really Richard weird, Spencer was the leader of the KKK. Like, like it's just look. look I'm not saying Alex Jones is the greatest guy. He's said things that are wrong yeah, for course. sure, of course. But it's like, doesn't it? No, like, I always feel bad for him because like no one thinks it's weird mm -hmm. that within a day every single pla thing just like that. platformed him, just like that. <laughs> like to the point where Joe Rogan. The, the the episodes where he went on Joe Rogan on YouTube are gone. Yep. 
And they're not on Spotify either. Hmm. Spotify won't let them on there. It's like, what is the fucking deal? The people that, that run this <laughs> shit is saying, all right, well, he's had enough time. Just by just by by matter of of, of capitalism and um competitiveness, it would behoove a platform to be like, hey, we'll let you on here mm-hmm. because you have millions of people who like you mm-hmm. and we'll get like we might get a different crowd than the other ones, but that's actually better for business mm-hmm. that we're not sharing you with other platforms. Mm-hmm. We can make more off of you. Just by that, he should have a place to go. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. Yeah, he has millions of followers. He definitely, someone definitely should hop on him. Someone. Someone. You would think one, you know what? I've said it's time we expanded our operation. Ryan, are we ready to take on another show? I, I think we should call them Full Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones here. <laughs> you think we're ready for that? Yeah, let's start. It. Let's look up, actually, let's look up, Um, mm-hmm. what, how much time are we at right now? I know I, I kind of went off more than I thought I was going to. Wow. We've we got a half hour left. Okay. Minutes. That's crazy. Uh, can we pull that top 10 video? Some of these are kind of funny. Yeah, go ahead. Did you just start there? It's fine. Top nine. <laughs> this one's funny. The machete it's one. It's a humongous fucking sword. <laughs> I know. You ever see that movie, Machete? Never. It is fucking awesome. It's it- It's the least realistic awesome movie of all time but it came from a desperado which was one you of understand that you politically put yourself in the criminal zone potentially if violence breaks out from this film machete is a 2010 grindhouse film written and directed by robert rodriguez that's such a great the fucking story movie is about a former federale who is hired to assassinate a texas senator <laughs> look at that he's looking just, whole thing was everyone has guns you know? he's cutting people <laughs> in half in the ar-15 <laughs> According to Alex Jones, however, <laughs> the images and depictions of violence against white people were sure to cause an uprising by the Hispanic community. Robert Rodriguez, I would say it's a 90% chance right now, is going to trigger racial <laughs> riots and chance? racial killings. He actually said okay, there was the a 90% the chance the movie yeah, like, would cause what? a race war. You can't war. take everything well, he says and put not together. Enough you got to take each thing individually. Because nothing Jeez, man. This was Marbles of the Ass. <laughs> to create a race riot film to create division in this nation so the globalists can play whites and Hispanics and others right. off against each other. Number eight, government-controlled weather. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to break down a subject so incredibly important I don't even feel worthy to bring you this information. This was a subject so important that Jones said he wasn't worthy to bring us the information about it. Humility be damned, however. He I hate did this it bitch. Anyway. Jones Humility starts off by damned. claiming that, quote, a whole host of strange and radioactive chemicals have been added to jet fuel since the 1990s. She, it pause real quick. A whole host of radioactive. She says things like, uh, like, she, like she has quotes and everything she says. Like he says a whole host of blah, 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 blah. and it's like you can make anyone sound crazy by doing that. Yeah. But the thing the things he he's saying, like the jet stream, like the the with the chemtrails and all, mm-hmm. pe- a lot of people believe them before he did. A, a yeah. Like, like people people prince, everybody people but were bringing yeah. this up before. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, you should shit. think before you speak. <laughs> you make anything sound ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's <laughs> Keep going. Of isotopes, <laughs> aluminum dioxide, the list goes on and on. Their purpose? Why? To manipulate the weather, of course. Not only that, but he goes on to claim that these chemicals actually create holes in the atmosphere and damage the soil. But the scientist, meteorologist, astrophysicist, and others that I've talked to have said what they're spraying and releasing would actually eat holes in the atmosphere and damage the soils of the planet. As the cherry on top so of this piece of that? hard-hitting investigative journalism, he warns knows, right? that government weather weapons, such as HARP, could be used to cause natural disasters like earthquakes and the Oklahoma tornado. All right, pause. With the weather, they're... In Dubai, mm-hmm. they make it rain once a week. Really? They're no. so rich, they have the ability, yeah... They 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 create clouds that go in the sky, and it mixes with the dust. They once a week they make it rain in Dubai. So that's a thing. That's a thing. They literally make it fucking rain from the sky. <laughs> Holy shit! So it's like, yeah, dude. Like he said this a long time ago before they could do that shit. Yeah. But it's like, 
yeah, dude, we can control the weather now. So if you can make it rain, if you can make enough clouds to make it rain, mm-hmm. couldn't you make... I don't know the science behind it, yeah, but it, it, it makes sense to me that if you can make it do that, couldn't you just make a bigger storm? Who knows, man? Couldn't you do th- make things happen in certain parts of the world to create situations where there'd be more hurricanes or something like that? What that the, doesn't seem insane to me. What people don't realize is, man, we only know but we only know what the government wants us to know. Things right. like it's so many things happening in this world that, oh, yeah. that no one has a fucking clue. Yeah. But it sounds crazy. But p- p- the people people like I'm telling you this it's a real thing. A lot of people don't think it's a real thing. I, I'm a person who's very like close with my family, like with my dad. Um, he, he's a friend of ours, and he was a three star general, mm-hmm. and then he it was the choice either become a four star general or like retire and do other shit. Mm-hmm. And he decided to retire, and then he's like in Italy now. But anyways, he was he was at states when we were talking, and we were talking about China, and I was like, yeah, man, China like scares me. You know what I mean? Like they seem like they could like really go at America. And he's like, dude, I was like, what? He goes, if there is a real like hot war with China, he goes, their entire infrastructure will be down in a weekend. I was like, seriously? He goes, dude, you have no idea. I'm telling you, he's man. like, you have no idea the things that America could do. I'm this. My father told like, me. Fuck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad was. Yeah, he was. He was. He's he a government person. Like people don't realize it. Yeah. People don't think. Oh, we're, I'm telling you. If if it comes down to it. Yeah. He was like, if I was allowed to tell you that the things that America is capable of it is he, it's you. It would literally science fiction. I was like, fuck. Why do you think we have? They have so many clearances, so many levels of clearances. Like, they yeah. Have certain only certain people are supposed to know certain things. Yeah. Okay, man. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what the next one is. Government control Buying weather. Yeah. Vehicles Dubai can do it, but American government can't. And have TV shows bad-mouthing the founding fathers. Number seven, Satanists taking over We already talked about this. The it New World true. Order, I guess, has read that God's going to destroy the earth the next time by fire. We're not really fire. sure what they ever did to him. <laughs> I can't wait to have his name <laughs> down. Sure hey, fire. Fire. According like to Jones, right there, the man. demonic high-tech tyranny of the New World Order is led by Satanist elites who create economic and health crises in order to advance their agenda of world domination. Yeah, there's no economic or health crisis ever. Ancient, powerful <laughs> entity with super advanced intelligence. This group of Illuminati has links to Hillary Clinton, Marina Abramovich, and Lady Gaga. In fact, <laughs> See, she's making it sound ridiculous. Show yeah. was a cover for satanic rights. Come to think of it, if you squint your eyes and tilt your head, it did kind of resemble a satanic ritual. All right, pause. Yeah, I had enough of this bitch condescending. She's she's play him. This deep state she's bitch. Play him. By the way, hey, um, w- folks, when you start watching music videos, look for triangles and eyes. You'll see it in every single fucking. Uh, you'll see it in every single music video. Mm-hmm. Every single fucking music video and a lot of movies and TV shows, you will find triangle imagery and um, one eyes. You'll see one eyed shit all the time. Like randomly in a fucking show, you'll see mm-hmm. just an eye on a wall mm-hmm. and you'll see. Um, what was I saying? Triangles. Uh, triangles eyes. And apparently, apparently, like the white checkerboard. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, now. yeah, that's like a yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a Freemason thing. Yeah. But you'll you'll see all the fucking imagery. In music videos, look, mm-hmm. you'll see them every single one. Just look, oh, yeah, yeah, just look, you'll see every single Jay Z fucking video, every single fucking uh, 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 Kesha video, every single fucking you look at music videos, they're in every single one. It's mm. you can't miss it. Uh, you can press play. Number six, the Pierce Morgan oh, debate. Oh, this is oh, fucking amazing. You're a hatchet man of the New World Order. Okay. You're a hatchet man. Things got a little heated when Marbles Alex up the Jones ass. debated Pierce Morgan on CNN Marbles about up gun the control. Ass. America is among the world leaders when it comes to gun-related deaths, and this reality has led to some pretty polarizing points of view on the subject. There have been bombings of Wall me, Street. Let me ask you a second Are question. We gonna, listen, why can't the let pilots ask you have a second firearms? Question. Alex, we trust them to fly the planes. Alex. In classic Alex Jones fashion, <laughs> he has some reasonable See, she's taking about all the cool the parts away from him. Fuck this, fuck this video. It all up I'm, with I can't listen to this bitch no more. And rants about Castro, global tyranny, and illegal immigrants. Can you uh, just look up one more thing for Alex Jones? Look up Alex Jones screaming. <laughs> People, they took all the times he yelled uh-huh. and put and like cut it and put yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> just screaming. It's fucking amazing. That guy's fucking. He, I, yeah, right there. I hope his the whole, his cabin is a full with, with tea ah! and honey. <laughs> ah. 
That's how I was in the toilet. <laughs> what is my problem? <laughs> 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 That's how I am after Chipotle. Oh, <laughs> God, dude. Ah. That is fucking amazing. Oh, gosh, That is man. so That's, fucking good. Um, fucking A, man. Hey, I, I feel like his throat hurts all the fucking time. Yeah, he said he... he um, he damaged a vocal cord mm-hmm. and had to get surgery on it. So like that's why his his voice, like you saw his like younger videos, yeah. he has more like a regular yeah. voice, and now it's like super <laughs> like. Uh, this is crazy, man. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that sounds like it hurts, man. Shit. Yeah, I mean he's <laughs> talked a lot in his fucking life. Mm-hmm. He has talked a lot. I wish, and they took all the videos down on YouTube. I think, but there used to be videos of him like yelling, like you. You sick demon! Rah, 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 rah. Like, oh my god, dude, they are the best videos. I can't believe they took them all down. That's it's fucked up. All right, uh, that was fun. Let's do a quick break, and we'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome to the break. How's the episode been? Has JB said something racist about white people again? <laughs> He's so silly. Well, look, guys, I removed ads because I care about you. Do you care about me? Well, then share this shit. I need you to share it. This episode you're listening to right now, share it to everywhere. I don't care where. MySpace. I don't give a fuck. I just need you to share it. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Welcome back, everyone. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. <laughs> it's a gay bomb. Oh, yeah. He had, okay, but, but we're going to do one more thing about Alex <laughs> Jones and we'll move on. He, he said that uh, like America had this... Um, Technology for a gay bomb, uh-huh. like he they like they wanted to send a bomb. I literally had a bit about this. I didn't know he made this up, but they they, they had a idea to send a bomb to the Middle East mm-hmm. to like Al Qaeda uh-huh. and make it explode and then make people gay. But they're so homophobic that would like make them kill each other. Yeah, yeah, a gay bomb. But they said that the <laughs> the runoff from the gay bomb was going into like from the testing in America uh-huh. was going into the streams and turning the frogs gay. They're turning the damn frogs gay. They're turning them gay. And I hate it. Quit it. Those are the marbles. Those yeah, are the marbles. Yeah, marbles yes. They're turning the frogs gay. Yeah. Okay. On to more sane people like Corey Feldman. <laughs> oh, that's the first time anyone has ever said that statement. Corey Feldman. Now Corey Feldman is alleging that notorious, notorious uh, uh, tour ruiner Marilyn Manson <laughs> yeah. ruined his 2017 music tour. Did now you? you're asking Corey Feldman, is he a famous singer? <laughs> nope. nope. He was a child actor who got <laughs> by Michael Jackson. I wouldn't say that. I think he admitted to it. Really? I think so. No, Michael Jackson did not admit to fucking fucking old child. No, Corey Feldman. Oh, of course he did. When, when Michael's not here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, can, I can say. All like, right, I can, I can say Michael Jackson touched me. I, All know. right, I know. Okay, hey, you man. see black people. Yeah, he stood up. Right. See, <laughs> see. I know he's on this show, but he stood up for you guys. Okay, <laughs> I'm a black motherfucker, man. Yeah, I can't help it. <laughs> um, I don't know. He, I think he got. I think he got diddled as a kid, though. Corey Feldman. I think. I don't know. Oh yeah, most definitely. That's. I mean, not, I'm not sure about Mike. I don't know. I wasn't there. Oh. But definitely in Hollywood. Yeah, that was definitely a fucking. Well, only after kids. Mike was white. <laughs> not not black Michael Jackson. He would never touch anyone. Only yeah, white Michael yeah, Jackson. I can see that. that now I make a little okay, more sense. Okay, now you're okay? <laughs> <All right. laughs> also, OJ did it. So anyways, um, <laughs> so uh, Corey Feldman alleges that uh, Marilyn Manson was ruining his tour by like putting in like secret agents, like bad backup singers and shit like that. And it's I think it's true because Corey Feldman normally has amazing music. Like he normally has really good music. Okay. Um, you, you didn't know that? Didn't know. I didn't know he made music until today. Until I sat down. Really? Did not know. 
No, no, no. Like, like the fact that his his live shows weren't amazing, there has to be foul play because um, his songs really like here. Uh, Ryan, can you pull up one of his songs? I think uh, it's called Ascension Millennium. His song, it's amazing. I'm, I'm gonna strap in. It's for this literally, show. it's it's groundbreaking bangers for the medium. It's 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 yeah, it's bangers. It's, it's with bangers. a Z. Gotcha, bangers bros. <laughs> okay, let's whenever see. you're ready, there, Ryan. Ryan. Are people seeing the video? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice quality video. It's pretty. <laughs> Look, I shot this. Who directed this? Skip Johnsy? <laughs> Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Someone Is learned this... iMovie. Are you in Venus? <laughs> you on fucking Venus, man? <laughs> God. By the way, this is verse one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> There's no water. There's no water. There's no nothing. He's just getting out the shot. That was a 30-second shower. He's completely dry. <laughs> He's drying off nothing. He still has pants on. <laughs> Come on. This is amazing. Her going out wears a lingerie. <laughs> This song rocks, by the I, way. Well, what's the word? Like, what songs? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Millennium. Uh, wow, he thinks he's Mike. Oh, shit. Dude, look at him. Oh, God. I'm telling you, this is repressed shit. Oh, God, no, please. What the fuck is going on? He couldn't get the glove on. Oh, my God. Reverse it a little bit. Rewind a little bit. He couldn't get the glove on the whole way and just went with it. <gasps> it's not in his hand. No, don't say that. Go back. Go back a little bit. Go back. What? So he's put on the glove more. Like he's like, oh, oh, okay, let's just go with it. <laughs> he's like, Corey, we got to go. Come on, Corey. <laughs> he's like, we're missing our mark. That's a porn star on the right. Really? Yeah, I forgot her name, but that's a porn star. Oh my god! Oh, shit. It's Rudy! <laughs> it's Samwise Gimli! Oh, the Goonies! Or Gamgee, whatever, Samwise something. Oh, this is a terribly produced video! It just knocked off her halo. Bro, this entire song sounds like an intro. You sure you didn't produce this, um, Ryan? <laughs> I'm, I'm using those after effects and you like. Why is there a little kid at a pool party with porn stars? <laughs> I'm telling you, Corey Feldman, man. His That's... glove is not on, by the way. I'm sure he has time to put it on now. Look at it. It's still not on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, he just shows his hand. This is fucking hor horrendous. You think you got the feeling? <laughs> ah. You can say he's he's trying to sound like Michael, honestly. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I love the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Ryan is like, like he's like, are you fucking serious? Remember when he was in the shower and his hair is super wet? Yeah. Dude, he oh, thinks he's Mike. Shit. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. This is like the official video. Look at it. He was falling over from spinning. <laughs> this is the uh, uh. That's Drake in the background. Nah, -uh. that's Drake. It's 2017. That's not Drake. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> you, know, you can't tell me only like Drake. Uh, this is really hard to watch. Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. This is so cringe. Hey, chef, how you doing? John, go yeah, goes. It's time to dress like your abuser. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Forget repressed memories. Dress like your abuser. Trying to put that yeah, fucking glove yeah. on. This isn't a cry for help. I just like to dress like my abuser. <laughs> Alleged <Yeah>. abuser. <laughs> uh, hmm? Who's that? That's him. Mike never had this level of production. <laughs> Jeez, man. The, the auto tune. John, everyone. The auto tune. 
There's no way they believe in this guy's music ability. I think that's a live yeah. background. I don't think that's great. <laughs> yeah, <screen. laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Sanchon Millennium. Oh, that's good shit, man. Good stuff. Oh, God. It's time to get in bed with my porn star. <laughs> Forget about my childhood. I wasn't distressed like Mike. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh, oh, man. Sci-fi records, baby. So like I was saying, um, <laughs> the only way that a show could be bad live was if there was foul play from Marilyn Manson. Yeah. yeah. That's the only yeah, way. You think? That's what you think, man? I mean, how? That, that song... Ascension <laughs> was fucking Millennium. terrible. I'm not a music producer. I'm not a music artist, mm-hmm. but that shit was fucking terrible, man. That shit was booty. And you know when they're booty making cheeks. it? He's like, I have, guys, this is going to be a great idea. We do one take. The whole way. <laughs> one, one take. Guys, we're going to revolutionize the music video industry. <laughs> one continuous take, take. like Birdman. <laughs> You know like what I mean? Birdman. Like Birdman. Remember the movie Birdman? It was one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I think, honestly, he uh, he has to be something wrong with him to think he this is an actual Yeah, hit. he got sexually abused as a kid. There's something wrong with him. No, he had a completely normal life that led him to this, to this point. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. something's wrong with hey, him, dude. Hey, man, I don't know, man. A lot of shit's wrong. <laughs> a lot. Okay? He was like uh, ten and a star. He got brought, got passed like a like a like a pot like dinner, <laughs> like a side of fucking Brussels sprouts. Yeah, <laughs> like the dinner rolls. <laughs> he got passed around like the fucking sweet potato pie on a Thanksgiving. That's right. Jeez Louise. Man. Yeah, man. No, no. That listen. Just because you don't get his musical genius, okay? That's, that's true. That's and here's true. the thing: is that Marilyn Manson, I think, was jealous. And so he had to infiltrate his tour in 2017 called Heavenly, the Heavenly Tour. Gotcha. Because it ascension, millennium, and heaven. That's what he's gotcha, ascending into heaven, gotcha, the Heavenly gotcha. Tour. Gotcha. And Marilyn had to fuck that Did up he because he was jealous. Corey Feldman? Yeah. No, Corey Haim died. Oh, okay. Like okay. Corey Haim and Corey Feldman were both child stars. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, my God. He says it. He, he has an interview where he talks about it. Look at the fucking background, the, the top video. Let's see a, a clip of the show. What? What show? The, oh, the, the yeah! Oh, please play that. Shit, the please play that. It's from the Heavenly Tour. Please, shit, please, please! Man. I can't wait. Just get to the middle where he's playing. This is Ascension. What in the fuck? The same girls <laughs> who definitely can't play guitar. Ascension, millennium. This is that white people shit right here. Yeah, this, this is very this, white. This is that white people shit. Hundred percent. This is horrible. He's dressed like Mike. <laughs> this is so. That, gloves, that right glove still is not on. This is so <laughs> fucking weird. Look at that girl in the brunette. She's like, this is so stupid. <laughs> Come on. She's man. like, did my check clear? <laughs> no, okay. How big is this venue? Look at that. Get gloves that fit. <laughs> Too close to the speaker, man. <laughs> oh my god, he's dancing actually, like Mike. I actually think this is the next. It's not him, yeah. Oh my god. Are we done with this? Yeah. Please. I'm done with this. Mar- I'm gonna walk out. He says Marilyn Manson, <laughs> who sells out arenas. Marilyn Manson was sabotaging him. He had that in his garage. That's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. God, I feel kind of sad for him, though. Corey Feldman coming to the Tuscaloosa Library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the Tuscaloosa. <laughs> oh, God, man. <laughs> Playing at a Spencer's near you. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Playing as Spencer's man. video. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God. Come on, man. This is sad, man. I, I have empathy for One people, night man. only. The Chattanooga Sonic. <laughs> Come see Corey Feldman. <laughs> oh God, man. <laughs> Oh. He ran out of Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the parking lot of the Buffalo Burger King, <laughs> Corey Feldman, the dressing Buffalo. with his new hit song, Dressing uh, Like My Abuser. The Buffalo Bur- <laughs> Burger King. Oh, Ascension, God. dressing God. like my abuser. <laughs> oh, Good God. God, man. God bless him. Man. That is very uncomfortable to watch. That's sad, man. He's going through this kind of shit, man. Yeah, that's really. Oh, that's a cry for help. Yeah, man. To dress like Michael Jackson, that's a cry for fucking Something's help. Something's going on. Yeah. Maybe he's paying homage to him because he lied on him. Can you look up, did Corey Feldman accuse Michael Jackson? Uh, let me see. Let's just shit. figure this out. Play, play Let's six, finger three. this out. Let's get it? finger this out. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Let's probe around and see what we can find. <laughs> oh, God. I want to. I want to penetrate the truth. <laughs> he is sick, man. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Ryan, oh, shit. He's no longer defending Michael Jackson. Ryan, what did you fondle? Like, fine. Uh, <laughs> I, that I was got stretch. it. I got it. That was, that was <laughs> that a stretch. Yoga stretch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like he has really good grooming. Get it? Grooming. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. guess, yeah, I get it. Well, uh, he's going to keep going. He's going he's gonna to keep doing this. <laughs> One of Michael Jackson's staunch defenders has revealed he could no longer defend the late singer after explosive allegations of sex abuse in a new documentary living. Oh, you know, you know what it was? I think, yeah, Corey Feldman, a former child star who's friends with Jackson in his early teens, has for years refuted allegations Jackson sexually molested young boys. So, like, he was a really young kid hanging out with Michael Jackson, and there's rumors that Michael Jackson was fucking him. And he was always like, no, no, he's not fucking me. He's not fucking me. See? Why would you pay homage to a fucking that that that, that finger popped you in your asshole? Uh, maybe he liked it. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's a cry for help. Like he's dressing like his music. Possibly, possibly. I don't know. It's all very sad, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. Oh, fucking hey! You gotta let me know when you gotta do that, man. <laughs> God, man, that's scary. Listen, let, let the imagine people, let the people to, see that. Oh, the imagine, people weren't seeing that, but I can. Imagine yeah. going to sleep and you. And this is this is the day, this is the fucking thing you see on the right at the top of uh, your chest. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my just god! Shit myself. That is literally one of the scariest things I've ever I'm thought about in my myself. life. <laughs> <laughs> like you're like you you wake up right. You're, you're you're sleeping, okay? Oh god! And you wake up and look down, and that and face scroll see, up, scroll up, and you see this. That face no. is just right here, with the with the with, with, with the goatee and just, everything. My God, just, man! Don't, I was... don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> ah, I go to Alex Jones. Ah, <laughs> just start screaming. <laughs> Good God! Oh, uh, Corey Feldman admits to being molested. Where? Look, I'm a guy that at 14 years old was molested. Did have a pedophile completely lie to me about who he was? Um, yeah. I, I mean, dude, that pedophile, pedophilia. It's people sick. have no idea how rampant that is in sick entertainment. As fuck, man. Yeah. Sick, man. All right. Um, how much time are we at? I want to keep going. Honestly. You want to keep going? Honestly, I mean, you might as well. All right, let's, we're, we're, we're about let's, to talk let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got the uh, the XXXL. Oh yeah! Ring. Oh shit! That's gold shit, right? No, no pun intended. <laughs> this is gold. This is gold. Gold, gold, Jerry Gold. <laughs> All right, Frank Ocean. Frank? I think it's Frank Ocean. Yeah, Frank yeah, Ocean's Frank luxury Ocean. band, Homer, is is selling a cock ring. <laughs> Priced at twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous, man. But it's not really a cock like a cock ring is like a rubber thing, basically like a rubber band you put around your cock to like hold the blood in so you stay hard. This is like jewelry for your dick. He's he's he, he's made, which is dope. He made a gypsy's. Well, he's made a gypsy's bracelet. That's what he's. Yeah. That's what it looks like, honestly. And it show like he took oh, a picture go. in it. We gotta show the people the picture. Not safe for it's work, not people. Loading. Not safe for work, people. It's it's censored. It's on Instagram. Okay. If it's on Instagram, it's good for YouTube. Okay. Yeah, well, the internet's not allowing it to happen. It's not loading. 
You know why? Because I was defending Alex Jones too much. The deep state fucking heard. Yeah, they got us, man. They fucking heard. Whatever. You can look it up. It's on Instagram. Just go to Frank Ocean's Instagram. But yeah, look at that gold piece. Show the people that gold piece. To the right, right there. What? Show show the people what we're looking at right now. The top of the tab on the right, on the right. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I saw that. That's the one that didn't load. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. What we're looking at right now, (laughs) put that on the screen for people to see. So they know what we're talking about That fucking gold ring That's the third thing man He's trying to fuck us up I know <laughs> Deep state Ryan <laughs> Old deep state Ryan um, uh, Fuck man The XXXL What's H up? bone ring Three Who has a th- Listen man I ain't okay. got that many X's. Like I ain't got that many X's, man. No. I'm all right but no. Who the fuck has a 3XL pin? Who knew, Who needs that I, I have an L <laughs> I don't know I'm, if I got, I'm up there, man. I'm like, I'm good, X, man. X, X, L. Come how on, many, man. How many X's are you claiming, JB? I'm, I'm, I'm not an X. I'm, 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 I'm a little on the, on the heavier side of the large, but I mean, I'm <laughs> no not. No X's, though? No, I'm, I'm good, right? I'm a large. I'm good. Yeah, and you could tell, like, he's got a hanger. That's fucking, that's crazy, though, yeah, man. Yeah, he, he's got Imagine a Imagine trying stick. to put that on. He's just, ding, 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 ding. I know. Sushi yeah. hit the fucking ground. It's just, you put it on, it's like, okay, let it go. <laughs> it's like, what's the purpose, <laughs> yeah, man? Yeah, that'd be embarrassing. That's just that's just his way of saying, hey, guys, I have a large penis. You got to tie your cock in a knot just to <laughs> keep it on. <laughs> you lose your fucking yeah. dick. The top of your head is cold and shit. There's <laughs> no more blood flow. <laughs> like, I'm finally wearing it. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, but we're in a recession. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, like come go on. bid for this twenty five thousand dollar fucking cock ring. Let's see, let's see the uh, babe. What's wrong? Why aren't you wearing your twenty five thousand dollar <laughs> cock ring designed by Frank Ocean? <laughs> <laughs> These comments are hilarious. Keep going now. Frank Ocean dropping pictures of his meat before new music. LMAO. Frank Ocean really dropping dick pics. <laughs> the <laughs> other Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious, man. Uh, These people are fucked up. If she doesn't propose with the Frank Ocean $25,000 cock ring, I don't want her. That's funny. That's crazy, man. Oh, God. You get, I feel like the artists, man, these artists, man, they do too much. Only in America. We get it. You guys, you add, it's so much, it's it's so stupid, man. Yeah. You give, they give these, these artists so many, so many resources to be so, so much more different than make, just making music. Yeah. Like okay, Yeezy, he was different. Even his stuff now, it looks like all this shit is like melting. The Orange album may be one of the best albums. That was beautiful. It was also an awesome. In the album. Past thirty years. So just stick to music, man. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to fucking. I gotta tell you though, <laughs> if I had to meet like his, I'd, I'd find a reason of course. to post it. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But I mean, I, I mean, you're Frank Ocean. It's not like it's hard for you to go to get whatever you want to get. He's got one of those cocks where like it always kind of looks hard. Like it never looks soft. You know what I mean? Like, it's like it's always thick. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, all right. Okay. Is this making you uncomfortable? <laughs> this is weird. I wish you were here last week for the uh, game. Nah, I saw it. I don't want to. Thank God I wasn't here for that <laughs> shit. Fucking A, man. All right. I've had enough this week. <laughs> I've had quite enough. Yeah, he's a- <laughs> um, Thank you, everyone, for watching. Mm-hmm. We will be back next week, obviously. Um, we'll also be doing, I'll announce it now. I mean, he's not big or anything, so I don't know why you would care, but we're doing a September 11th. This is actually a good episode to pitch this on. Mm-hmm. We're doing a September 11th conspiracy episode oh. with Trevor Austin, who's a really funny comedian in Pittsburgh who is a conspiracy nut. Mm-hmm. He knows his shit about conspiracy Love. and he's also fucking crazy. So it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. It's gonna be a good show. Um, yeah, but we'll be back uh, each and every week bringing you just the best content out there. The real deal of, of, of what's going on in the world. Um, And for legal purposes, everything I said was an opinion. Yeah. <laughs> all um, jokes. Yeah. We're, all, we're, yeah. Just, we're just characters. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> well, after this, we're just all the platform. They're like, yeah. You like Alex Jones so much, you can go be with him. How about that? <laughs> um, like I said, uh, if you want to support the show monetarily, which is very important to us, we appreciate it very much, mm-hmm. um, click on the link in the description and wherever you're watching this. Um, please, if you don't do that, at least please share this and tell your friends about it. It. Please, um, if you know anyone who has the same kind of humor as you and us uh, and you think would like this, please share it. We appreciate it very please much. Um, <clears throat> that's it. Um, follow me at, uh, at I am Corey Brennan on Twitter mm-hmm. and at Corey Brennan Comedy for Instagram and TikTok. Um, TikTok still taking off. It's pretty awesome. 
Um, follow JB at uh, at JBizzleTCBS on Twitter. And Ryan is unknown. <laughs> to uh, to get in touch with Ryan, you have to have a baby with him. Oh, so. oh, actually, if you don't want to get in touch with Ryan, you have a baby with him. <laughs> 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 That's good. <laughs> oh, man, All right. that's awesome. Child and danger. Um, how's that? Uh, mm-hmm. How's that? Professional golf career gun. Okay. Probably more <laughs> likely to have someone having a baby with me talk to me than that golf career taking <laughs> off. It's not going well right now. <laughs> I lost a gap wedge. Jeez. I broke a three hybrid. It's oh, been, no. Uh, it's been an interesting few weeks. Did you try the, 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 thing, the thing that you learned on yeah, the video? I yeah, I did. Other things broke down. That ah. works perfectly. Oh. Oh, nice. nice, nice, nice. We'll figure it out. Corn Ferry next year, probably 2024. <laughs> okay. Along with Trump. Ah, yes. Oh, God. The guy yeah. doesn't like Alex Jones, but likes Trump. Loves He's an enigma. Trump. He's an enigma. Loves Trump. Okay. Very All right, guys. conservative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Stay black. Can't help it. <laughs>